Hello, Piyush. Good to see you again. Likewise, man. Uh, we've been talking on uh, for how many years now? 20 years? Something like that? It's, it's, it certainly seems like it. Yeah. Networking industry keeps on rolling. So I, I understand that uh, you guys at SciTime are ready to uh, introduce a new timing platform for the networking industry. What, what is the challenge that you're trying to solve this time? Uh, so a bit of background, backdrop on this. Um, Electronics is getting much more intelligent and much more connected. Pretty much every device these days has to have some intelligence built in and has to have some significant amounts of connectivity built in. So now this transfers the burden of, of operation a lot on the network. You gotta have a reliable, a fail safe network, which can accommodate the needs and demands of modern intelligent connected electronics. And we feel that timing plays a pretty crucial role in this. Uh, you don't have good timing, the network's not gonna function as good as it could, and therefore all the electronics that we use will be disrupted. So, so that's how we defined our category of precision timing. Our precision timing makes the electronics uh, faster, safer, and more reliable, and we do it by delivering an ultra-reliable clock signal. Now. Going into network infrastructure, which is where uh, this device is targeted. Uh, here's an example of, of a, a network. You've got the core, the edge, and the access with the routers and all that. You've got the 5G RAN and then data center. For this network to transmit bandwidth at very high speeds, every node in the network needs to be synchronized, meaning it has to be time aware with any other node in the network in 5G networks, it has to be the time error between any two nodes is 130 nanoseconds, which is 10 times more stringent than in 4G, where it was 1.5 microseconds. To make this happen, you need a pretty specialized device called an OCXO, and so an oven controlled oscillator, which provides time to each of these network nodes. It's a local time source that exists at each of these network nodes. And what the OCXO does is in case the signal, the time signal from the network drops, and let me just show you an illustration of that. Every node in the network can get time from three sources, GNSS, network time, and local OCXO. GNSS is very accurate, but it's susceptible to weather spoofing and jamming. Network time, is also very accurate, but the error goes as you keep going downstream. So while the network relies on these two time sources, it must have a local source for redundancy in case these other two sources drop off. Meaning the local OCXO, quote unquote, holds over the network until the other two time sources come back. And that's the problem we are solving. We want to maximize the amount of holdover that the network can have to make it more reliable. And that's what our OCXO does. Okay, okay, excellent. So SciTime, of course, is known for its MEMS precision timing devices. Um, with this expanded challenge or, or um, you know, problem set that you have, what core technologies are you, are you bringing to play? So, so our devices are based on MEMS, uh, the resonator, the analog, which creates the oscillation circuits, and then the systems, which is basically the packaging and the compensation algorithms to make sure that the device performs like it should. And, and so those are our core technologies. Now, these are the, the OCX as a concept has existed for many years. It's been around for about 90 years. But what we are bringing to the table is a new way of de doing things, which delivers much better performance than what already exists out there. So here's a spider chart that compares our OCXO, the specs in blue, with a quartz OCXO, specs in orange. And both devices are rated at one PPB stability, right here. But right. now when you start looking, at other specs, Allen deviation, warm-up time, power consumption, footprint, etc., 
you see how we outperform the quartz device dramatically. And that's always been the name of game with site time devices. We have to deliver something of significant value to the customer that changes the game. Right. So, so how are you implementing this? Good question. So let me show you a, a block diagram of this. What the, not a block diagram, sorry, a package diagram of this. This is what the device looks like. It's nine by seven by four millimeter package, which is, I think, uh, one tenth the volume of a traditional OCXO. Inside this package is a MEMS resonator. It's an analog die, and it's the systems and algorithms that we need to basically make sure make sure that the device performs and meets all these different specs that we've listed here. Uh, so it's basically like our other devices, there's resonators, there's oscillators, uh, analog circuits, and then there is the packaging together to put it all together. I don't have a block diagram here, but I'm happy to send you. Okay, okay. And uh, finally, tell us about the path to commercialization. You know, what, what are the platforms or systems that you see this being implemented in and, and uh, when? These are all the different applications that this device could go into. A DU or RU, a smart NIC, fan cooled routers and switches, network test equipment, bunch of different things. And, and these are all the different challenges that they face with the ports OCX today. So for example, in a router or a switch, they have to do complex system workarounds to avoid performance degradation when the fans come on. And in our case, we delivered twice the resiliency and therefore simpler designs. For example, you don't need a plastic cap or a metal cap on the OCXO to isolate it. That's what you need with ports. That's what you don't need with us. So these are the kinds of different applications. We've already started sampling customers. Production for the device is going to be in uh, early next year. And basically, the interest from the customers has been fabulous. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you for walking me through that, uh, Piyush. As they say, you know, timing is everything. So uh, great to talk to you again, and um, see you next time. Sounds good. Thank you. Mm -hmm.